Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Anis Rahman. I'm an endocrinologist and uh, welcome to a yet another episode of District Endocrine. Today we are going to talk about Graves disease. So let's get into it. Graves disease is an autoimmune system disorder where there is an overproduction of thyroid hormone and that results in hyperthyroidism. Now, Graves disease is a common disorder with overthyroid, overactive thyroid, uh, particularly affecting women and those who are younger than 40 years of age. Treatment is focused on reducing thyroid hormone production, which helps with the severity of hyperthyroid symptoms. Treatment for Graves' disease is focused on reducing thyroid hormone production and protecting the heart from excessive thyroid hormone levels. Radioactive Iodine Therapy American Thyroid Association recommends that Graves' disease treatment with radioactive iodine as the first line of treatment. In most, the case, in most of the cases, it is the most effective treatment and safe as compared to the other treatment options such as medications or surgery. Radioactive iodine is given by mouth which is taken up by the thyroid cells and it releases small doses of radiations that destroy the overactive thyroid cells over time. This can take up to 6 months to be fully effective. Thyroid gland may shrink in size, 90% of the patients lose their thyroid function and become hypothyroid which is the underthyroid, underactive thyroid and they will need thyroid replacement. This therapy increases, sometimes can cause increase in the symptoms of the th uh, Graves' disease which are temporary and they can resolve with treatment. Uh, it is given with caution in patients who have Graves' eye disease or those women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Antithyroid medications have an effect on thyroid um, and they stop the, uh, the use of iodines in, iodine in the thyroid cells and that's how they reduce the thyroid levels. Uh, the medications include methamazole or tapazole or propyl thyrosyl uracil PTU. Both these medications have in, can increase risk of liver damage which is rare, however it can happen or they can affect the autoimmune system and reduce immunity in a, in a, uh, in, in a disease called agranulocytosis which is a very rare side effect. Overall, these drugs are safe in general. Steroids can also be, re be used in patients when there is overactive thyroid and they are used very selectively. Beta blocker uh, do not directly affect the thyroid levels, but they can reduce thyroid hormone impact on the body and help with hyperthyroid symptoms. Uh, their effect on the conversion to more overactive, over more active form of thyroid is is minimal, but it is there. They help with reducing the symptoms such as tremors, anxiety, diarrhea, heat intolerance, muscle weakness, and overall they can help with overall symptoms, specifically the heart when it is overactive. Uh, common uh, beta blockers include metoprolol, atenolol, uh, or uh, or pro uh, propanol. Uh, beta blockers are prescribed with caution in patients who have asthma since these medications can increase or trigger uh, asthmatic attacks in these patients. Surgery. Now, subtotal uh, or total thyroid replace uh, thyroid surgery or thyroidectomy are surgical procedures to remove the thyroid gland either completely or partially. This is usually the last treatment options when the radioiodine ablation uh, or the medications have failed or they are contraindicated. Patients uh, may likely need thyroid replacement after the surgery. Potential risks include nerve damage that controls the vocal cord and that can result in hoarseness of voice. Parathyroid glands are also present very close to thyroid and sometimes the surgery can affect them and that can result in calcium balance issues and th those these complications are very rare and it depends on the hands and experience of the surgeon. Treating Graves Ophthalmopathy or Graves Eye Disease Now mild symptoms of Graves Ophthalmopathy can be treated with over-the-counter artificial tears or lubrication gel. 
prescription medications include corticosteroid, uh, Tazipa is a new drug, and they are used in moderate to severe um, Graves' eye disease, and sometimes it may require surgery or radiotherapy. Thank you so much for watching another episode of District Endocrine. This is Dr. Rahman signing off. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe uh, to our channel. You can uh, visit our website www.districtendocrine.com for more article and more more articles and information. Thank you very much.